you were working on better healthy eating habits, who would you want in your support group? A close friend who was making the same journey with you? Or a trainer who already succeeded and was now the role model of who you could become? Parshas Vayechi, which closes the first book of the Torah, records the death of two giants, Yaakov Avinu and his beloved son Yosef. Both passed away in Egypt, and both were ultimately buried in Israel, but with one major difference. When Yaakov felt his days were numbered, he called his son Yosef, the viceroy, and made him swear that he would bury him in Israel right away, and not leave his body in Egypt at all. Before Yosef passed away, he also made his brothers swear that they would take him to Israel, but not right away, only later. When all the Jews would leave Egypt, that's when he would go. Why didn't Yosef want to be transferred to Israel immediately like his father? The Rebbe explains, the Jews' descent to Egypt had a deep and sublime purpose. They were charged with a mission to spiritually elevate and refine the most decadent society on earth. And as they embarked on this journey, they would need two sources of inspiration. Firstly, they needed someone to be with them in Egypt, someone to hold their hand as they progressed step by step towards their monumental achievement of refining that country. Yosef, who had lived through Egyptian society and indeed transformed it, was the perfect candidate for this. That's why he chose to remain in Egypt until the very last moment of exile, and that's when he would leave. At the same time, the Jews needed Yaakov to be in Israel. He would be a visionary, a beacon of light with a higher vantage point, a guide that would constantly remind them to keep their heads above the water and focus on their final destination. And that's why he needed to leave Egypt immediately. Today, as we find ourselves on the threshold of the Messianic era, we must remember that our job, our responsibility is twofold. Like Yosef, we must be fully invested in our worldly lives, refining and purifying it to the best of our ability. But like Yaakov Avinu, we must always remember that this world is not the goal. We need to cry out to God, Lift us out of Egypt, take us home already, take us to our promised land and to the final redemption with the coming of Mashiach Sidkenu. Wishing you and yours a Shabbat Shalom Umevarach, Chazak Chazak V'Nis Chazek.